Good morning. This is another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we are doing illustrative math grade 8, unit 8, lesson 1, practice problems. Okay, our first problem here is find the area of each of these squares. So, as we did before, we are going to enclose these. So, what is the size of this outer square around A? One, two, three, four, five units. Five times five is 25. Now our inner square, we have to remove these four outer triangles. The dimensions of each outer triangle are a base of one and a height of one, two, three, four. One times four is four, over two is two. Two times one, two, three, four. Two times four is eight. 25 subtract eight is 17. Area of square A is 17 units. Square B, again we're going to enclose it. Outer square, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six by six is 36. Area of each of the outer squares are one, two, three, four. By base of four, height of two. Four times two is eight. Over two is Four, so the area of each of these is four. There are four of them. Four times four is 16. Subtract the area of these four triangles from the area of this area of this enclosing square. 36 subtract 16 is 20. So the area of square B is 20 square units. Square C, enclose it. One, two, three, four, five again. That will also have an area of 25. Area of these inner triangles are one, two, three by one, two. 3 times 2 is 6, over 2 is 3. The area of all four of them, 3, 6, 9, 12. 25 subtract 12 is 13. So the area of square C is 13 square units. Now, square D. Enclose it. Our large square is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 units squared. 7 squared is 49 units. Now we need the area of our inner triangles, or outer triangles here, which are one, two, three, four, five, six units by one unit. Six times one is six, over two is three. Three, six, nine, twelve. 49 subtract 12 is 37 
So the area of square D will be 37 square units. Our next problem here is finding the area of a square or finding the length of the side of a square if we know its area. How do we find the length of each side of a square if we know its area? If a square has an area of 81 square inches, what will the length of each side be? What number do we have to multiply length times width which have to be the same number. So we're multiplying something by itself to get 81. What number do we multiply by itself to get 81? Nine. So the side length of this will be nine inches. Our next one here is find the side length of a square if its area is 4 25ths of a square centimeter. So, 4 25ths. What number do we multiply by itself to get 4 25ths? Two fifths. Two fifths times two fifths. Two times two is four. Five times five is twenty-five. Two fifths would be the side length of this square. C, point four nine square units. What are the side lengths going to be to give us an area of point four nine square units? Well, that will be zero point seven units. Zero point seven times zero point seven is zero point four nine. Now, our last one here is a variable. This is the general case. If it is m square units, what do we do to find the side length? If the area of this is M, what are the side lengths? Well, the lengths of those sides are the square root of M. So the side lengths of that square would be m units. Our next problem is Noah reads the problem evaluate each expression giving the answer in scientific notation. The first problem part is 5.4 times 10 to the 5 plus 2.3 times 10 to the 4. Noah says I can rewrite 5.4 times 10 to the power of 5 as 54 times 10 to the power of 4. Now I can add the numbers. 54 times 10 to the 4 plus 2.3 times 10 to the 4 equals 57.3 times 10 to the 4. Do you agree with Noah's solution? Explain your reasoning. So... This is a adding scientific notation problem. We cannot just add the numbers unless the exponent of 10 is the same. So the first thing Noah did was he converted 5.5 or 5.4 times 10 to the 5 into 54 times 10 to the 4. Is that a valid step? Yes. He moved the decimal point one spot this way. Ch 
changed it from 5.4 into 54 because the decimal point was moved over we had to subtract one from the exponent that works now I can just add the numbers 54 times 10 to the 4 plus 2.3 times 10 to the 4 equals 57.3 times 10 to the 4 well 54 plus 2.3 well, what is 54 plus 2.3? 54 plus 2.3 is 56.3 times 10 to the power of 4. So Noah had a small mistake in his addition. His first step was okay, converting that so that we had the same power of 10, but then he made an adding mistake. So if he, he if Noah's giving this solution, there's another problem with his solution. We need to change this scientific notation so that we have one digit in front of the decimal place. This should be 5.63 times 10 to the power of, well, we had to move this decimal point one more spot, so we needed to add 1 to this power. This should be 5.63 times 10 to the power of 5 is what Noah should have gotten. But Noah's big mistake was the addition. Okay, our next problem here. Select all the expressions that are equivalent to 3 to the power of 8. Well, A, 3 to the power of 2, all raised to the power of 4, if we are raising to a power, we multiply the exponents. 2 times 4 is 8. This is equivalent to 3 to the power of 8. Yes. B, 8 to the power of 3. Well, we can't just swap our base and exponent. That doesn't work. C is 3 times 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 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is multiplying 3 by itself 8 times, and that's exactly what 3 to the power of 8 means. C works. D is 3 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 2. Very similar to... Option A, we need to multiply the exponents. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 to the power of 8. D works. E is dividing. When we divide like bases, we subtract the exponents. 6 subtract negative 2. Subtracting a negative is adding, so 6 plus 2 would be 3 to the power of 8. E works. F, 3 to the power of 6 times 10 to the power of 2. Those are not like bases, so we cannot just add the exponents. That is not going to work. I just noticed that we did some of these problems in the wrong order. We are now back to problem number three. Sorry about that. Um, find the area of a square if its side length is three. What's the area of a square with a side length of three? If this side is three, this side is three. The area would be equal to 3 times itself, or 3 squared. The area is 9 square inches. 
find the area of a square if its side length is 7 units. 7 squared is 49. 49 units squared. Find the area of a square if its side length is 100 centimeters squared. 100 squared is 10,000. Ten thousand square centimeters. Forty inches. Forty squared. Is not four thousand. Forty squared is 1,600, 1,600 square inches. X units, this is our general case. If we are finding the area of a square, if its side length is X units, the area will be X squared square units. Okay, our next problem here is evaluate 3.1 times 10 to the 4 times 2 times 10 to the power of 6. Choose the correct answer. 3.1 times 2 is 6.2 times 10 to the power of, when we're multiplying, we add the exponents. 4 plus 6 is 10, so our correct answer should be 6.2 times 10 to the power of 10. 6.2 times 10 to the power of 10 is C. That's our last problem. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. See you next time.